Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to can be continuing with what we learned two videos ago about making sure that our path is installed. So I touched on this for just a half second and let's see, let's see, programs, Python, <laughs> so here we go, pip. So I hinted at this when we were setting up our um, path variable two videos ago, episode 199, I believe so, let me check, 199, yep, uh, path. So now, now we're going to use it. So okay, this this is what we do. So if you do not know how to get to your command prompt starting out, here, let's make sure you can see. So go to your search bar and just type in CMD for command. And you get your command prompt. So now, since we're going to be working with pip, I'm going to explain what we did. So all right, and we're going to touch on this a little bit more later. So, so OK. Remember when we were in, in pip, or when we did path, and I said copy, copy this where our file is located, and scripts is important because let's just let's just touch on this. This is what DOS does. So we had our environment, we had, and we said go and look here. So this is an executable. I don't know if how much you know, but. Uh, don't want to go into it too much but this is an application this is an executable file it's not a Python file it does not end in PY so when you click on it it runs its program so it has it has rules so alright and the reason why because you can see we are not here we are not in this location as you can see because you can, let me show you this other trick. So, so you can kind of just see. You can go to any any directory, subdirectory, directory, how you want to you want to see it. Directory. Click on it. Type in CMD, and Windows will actually. That's a little hack right there. It'll actually open up the command where it is and you could type in pip and it will let me make sure you can see all this and a little bit more I think okay let me come down some so here we are and I should be over here in the corner so this knows that that is pip but this is I don't want you to have to go to this place so that's why we'd put in our path for pip right here so you can type pip anywhere so when Python sees excuse me when the command prompt sees you type in pip it goes hey I'm gonna go to path check all my paths and if I have a directory that has this file I'm gonna go and do that so that's what this is so here's pip and this is what we're gonna use right here and we are going to download an external library module or another word for it is a package so okay so we're gonna do pip install periodic table so what pip is doing is it's going out to the internet and it has all these awesome things and it's installing it and setting it up and doing all these things for you installing collected packages numpy which will do later periodic table because this is very cool so and now look at here running setup now I want everybody to look right here 
This will not work because we have not set this up yet, but we're going to touch on this in a couple videos. And we are going to show you how to run Python from the command prompt. We're not going to do it now. I want to do this just like I did in episode 200. We're going to do this in bite sizes. So this is only about pip and install. We're not going to do pip update. We're not going to we're not going to do Python. We're not going to do anything. This is just about pip. So now now we have Now what we're going to do is we're going to import it because we, we know how to import stuff. Periodict. Let's see if I can type this. And guess what? We're going to do an alias because I can't spell. So the table. I think I can remember that. So let's run this. P table so awesome holy moly so this was one of the cool things that I did at my kids school I went and pulled this down and this is everything about the periodic table so you didn't have to go and do any of this so right here we're not gonna do much more with this this is just for pip install and you now know how to go out to the internet, download an external package, and Python sets it up for you with pip. And you know how to do that. Pip install. So, there we go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and that notification bell because we're doing this every single day, guys. So, appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to leave any comments, questions, or my absolute favorite video requests below, and I'll get right to them. Thanks, guys. See you next time.